Hey, it's Maria. I just want to do a quick video on sanitizing your brushes and your palettes and uh, the proper way to use your, your, your makeup on customers or when they use your makeup um, and how to, to properly uh, sample it out so that it's not um, being like contaminated or that it's properly sanitized afterwards. So um, this is what I learned in cosmetology school. And so I'm just going to share what State Board expected of me as a cosmetologist. So <laughs> first of all, when you are working on someone and you're working out of your palette and you're allowing her to work out of your palette or if you're a cosmetologist and a makeup artist, you can actually do it yourself, right? So this is uh, my, my Chrome, Mary Kay Chroma Fusion uh, Cheek Color Highlight and Contour Palette that I have right here. And so I, or my customer, will do her cheeks. And if this was my eye palette, she would do her eyes, or I would do her eyes. And then when it's all done, I will take a large brush and I will dust off whatever cheek color she used, just dust off the top layer lightly. And whatever eye color, if this was the eye palette, I would dust off whatever, whatever eye colors she used, I would just dust off, the very lightly dust off that top layer. And then I go in with my alcohol and I'll lightly spritz each palette before I put them away. And this way I know that it is sanitized, ready to go, ready for my next customer. Okay, so that is done. That's how you do the palette. When it comes to any kind of liner, lip liner, eyeliner, brow pencil, after she has used it, you definitely want to go on ahead. I've got a, a paper towel right here. This is called a sanitary maintenance station. You put a clean one down for every new customer. SMS, sanitary maintenance station. And this is where I lay the brushes that she's using and any other products. Um, so I could, I'll take this and I will wipe off top layer of the liner, eyeliner, brow liner, lip liner. Wipe that top layer off after she's used it. And then I give it a light spritz. So what I don't do is give them the lid or lay it next to them because as soon as she's done, she's automatically, just naturally gonna put the lid back on. And you wanna make sure you sanitize it before you put the lid back on. So I hold on to the lid and um, I just hand her the product and let her use it and then I take it back when she lays it down just have her layer stuff right down and then I pick it up and I clean it off and I spritz it and then I return the lid knowing that it has been sanitized and it's ready to go for my next customer mascara we all know disposable wands no brainer <laughs> never double dip right um, with my lip products I use little white spatulas and I just scrape off some lip product and I hand them the spatula and it's like a little, um, oh goodness gracious, totally went blank. <laughs> a little palette for them with lip color and then they can just, you know, use the doe foot or the um, applicator, the brush, the cream brush that she can use for her lips. So let's see, powder, never ever ever double dip. I will have a clean brush and I'll load it up for her and tap it off. There you go. Or I will tap a little on her paper towel or on her tray um, and that way she could go into it a few times if she likes a little more powder or something like that. But absolutely no du double dipping into your powders or anything like that. So that's all about your, your actual makeup products. Okay, you have to be in control of them. You don't hand anyone anything that, um, yeah, that she could possibly like double dip. Which they're just not thinking. You hand, so often people reach for, um, in my, my tray full of lip colors, and they will reach for a lipstick and they want to go like that on the back of their hand or 
some of them wipe when I'm putting on their lips straight from there. And so I don't, I don't let them like literally just handle it. I will take it out and I will show it to her. And then I'm like, and if she really wants to try that one, I will scrape some off with my little spatula and there you go. So um, once people handle it, they, it you, you take ownership when you hold on to something, you take ownership. And so that's what happens. I take ownership and <laughs> and that's, you know, she treated it like it's hers and it's not. All right, so let's go on to the brushes. Amazing brushes in Mary Kay. I love our foundation brushes. These don't hold a, a whole lot of product, but they do get there. Some product does get down in there, especially you can see more of the bronze, but all of the shades, ivory, bronze, and beige, all get down in here and they all must be cleaned completely off. One thing I didn't um, talk about is our amazing brush cleaner. When I'm working on the same person and I just want to clean off like the all over eye brush um, because I'm going from one color to another, I will use the brush cleaner. But when I'm going from one person to the next, I will do a deep cleaning. This is not enough, even though it does have some alcohol in it. There's still product in there and there's still some of her in there. So you need to really, really wash it completely. So ivory, beige, or bronze, you still need to get in and clean these out deep, 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 deep. So what I like to do is wet them and I keep them downward. So I just rub some water into them. And so that I don't turn it upside down, I go on ahead and I put some mild soap on my, my silicone wonderful scrubby there. And I will work, 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 work all that product out. One at a time. That's right. One at a time. You have no choice. Just really, 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 really work it in there. I found this little heart shaped one on Amazon. It works great for me. I've seen the bigger ones, the mats. Um, wouldn't mind grabbing one of those one day. <laughs> if I remember, I order stuff on Amazon that I forget. I'm like, man, I forgot that mat again. It's... So, and then I am going to put water in my hand kind of and just kind of rinse, rinse, and swirl it while the water's running. I don't need it that heavy. Just need a little bit of water in my hand. And just really rinse it out good. I don't want water to go up in there and break it down the, the adhesive that's holding this together. Sorry, you can't see. I thought my thing was fixed so you could. But I had the water in my hand and I was really, really rinsing that out. And how you know, if you got it all out, put it on a, a towel or something like that. And if you don't see any color coming off, then you've got it all out. And then you lay them down to dry. That's with the foundation brush. And I basically do the same thing with all the brushes. I hold them downward, I give them a good scrubbing, I rinse them, pat them off pretty good, and I lay them down, and then um, I just kind of do it in the evening, and then the next day, um, they're dry and they're ready to go. So let's see, is there anything else? The same thing, like I said, with all your brushes, the same thing, you wanna get in there and get all that product off of them. Really, really good, really good. This right here, the spoolie, I just massage a little bit of soap on it. Squirt, and just massage some soap on it. And then massage some soap on that little bit of tip there, and then rinse it. And once I wash all my brushes, I just leave them there to dry, and they're good to go. They're good to go, ready for my next makeup session. All right, ladies, have a great day, bye.